Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to be asking the question, what are the biggest bromeliads? So this is just a baby. Why don't we show you what this looks like when it grows up? So you know what? The sun is shining. The island breeze is blowing. It's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun and let's look at some big bromeliads. So, okay, guys, I want to take you to Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads uh, in Fort Myers, Florida to show you some really big bromeliads. But before we go there, I want to show you what I have growing here at the Tangle. And this is out on my patio. And you're looking at, uh, on the right hand side, uh, a silver hybrid of Alcantaria imperialis. And to the left hand side, uh, a Regina hybrid. Again, another Alcantaria. And that Imperialis is growing in a pretty large decorative pot. That pot is 18 inches in diameter and not quite three feet tall. But take a look at the size of that wonderful Alcantaria. And if you look below here, I'm going to pan down a little bit. Um, these are uh, hybrids of Echmia shantinii uh, on the right is called Miami Fire. The one in the middle is Echmia Shogun. And the one on the right is called Echmia Samurai. And those are really normal size Echmias. And just take a look at the comparison. So I wanted to show you this so that you can get an idea as to how you can grow really large bromeliads uh, where you live. And now I'm going to show you some that are even larger. And we're going to be going to Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads where they have quite a few huge bromeliads. Come on, let's have some fun and take a tour. So we are here at Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida uh, because there is such a big selection of fairly large bromeliads. But large really is subjective. So you can see uh, these are neoregilias and these are growing in nine inch pots. So that's not a small pot. And by the way, this is Neoregilia lava. I like the color in this. How about you? So yeah, I would hardly say that these Neoregilias are tiny. These are fairly big plants. But let's come right across the aisle to this table and take a look at these Neoregilias. And these are even bigger. This, by the way, is Neoregilia Correa Arajwa Albo. And take a look. These are growing in the 9-inch pots as well. But bromeliads get even bigger than this. So we're going to start going up the line and taking a look at even larger bromeliads than the Neoregilias I just showed you. And these are X Androlechmia deans. And that means that they are a bigeneric. They are a cross between Echmia and Androlepis. So it's X Androlechmia. And as you can see, these are in, I'm going to get down here, those are in nine inch pots. And as usual, I'm going to show you the increments that are on the floor cloth, or those are one feet. So this gives you a really great idea as to the size of these deans. But they get even bigger than this. This is probably one of the largest Androlechmia deans that I have ever seen. 
this area here is uh, under uh, construction and is being revamped here at Sundance Orchids and Berbeliaz in Fort Myers, Florida. This particular dean, as you can see, has an inflorescence. But take a look at the size of this. This is an absolutely huge bromeliad. And take a look, I put a shovel there for scale, and that's a regulation shovel, guys. That shows how big this Andrelechmia dean is. Okay, almost as big as dean, not quite, is Ecmia Pinot Noir. It's said to be a cultivar of Ecmia Blanchettiana, which is a largely orange plant. And you can get an idea uh, as to its size, not only by looking down here at the floor cloth, again, one foot increments, but come on up here and take a look at the plants in back. And those are not really puny uh, neoregilias there. They are in six inch pots, so you can get a good idea as to the size of these Ecmia Pinot Noirs. Now this is a pretty big bromeliad. And you know, at first glance, I would have to say, wow, this looks like an Alcantaria. You know what, guys? This, believe it or not, is a Tillandsia. I know it doesn't look like any of the air plants. I'm going to get back here a little bit, and we're going to take a big look at this. That is one huge plant, but this is a Tillandsia crucofiana. So yeah, this is a Tillandsia. It's called Tillandsia crucofiana. It is a species that comes from Brazil. Quite honestly, I have always expected that uh, the taxonomist would have changed uh, the nomenclature on this, maybe to another genus, but who knows um, why or why not. Um, but this is a really big plant. And again, for scale, take a look at those one foot increments on the floor cloth, and it shows you just how big this plant is. And here's another really big plant. Uh, this is called Vinicolor. Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Vinicolor is actually a Vrecantaria. But take a look, I'm gonna step back here. Again, that's in a seven gallon pot, and look how big the thing is, my gosh. So now we come to the genus Alcantaria. And Alcantaria is generally considered to have the largest bromeliads uh, in that genus. And then take a look at this huge silver form of Alcantaria imperialis. So these are uh, admittedly, smaller uh, versions of Alcantarias. Most of these are either hybrids or they are cultivars of Imperialis. But you can see that these guys growing, these were just potted up by the way, and you can see that they're growing in seven uh, gallon pots and they're going to get even bigger. But take a look at this Krukofiana. This is an absolutely gigantic plant. That is more than four feet in diameter, uh, certainly almost three and a half feet tall. So this plant has not always been in a pot. This Tillandsia crucofiana was growing in the display gardens here at Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida, and it had blown over. Uh, we had a hurricane in southwest Florida uh, in the last uh, couple days of September of last year. Uh, so it was dug up and put in this pot. But this shows uh, that if a plant is given room to grow and its genetics say that it can get big, it will get even bigger than what you see growing in a pot. So you can see just how big the rosette is. I'm laying my hand down in here for scale. 
and take a look that is absolutely enormous now this is another Alcantaria hybrid not really sure what this is it came out of the garden it does look to be a Recantaria uh, Merlot so if you've been taking a look at some of the uh, videos that we have on our playlists um, on Island Breeze you will recognize this plant and this is Alcantaria odorata now these are more odoratas and where these look really really big I'm gonna go on down here see if I can pick that pot up in there again it's a seven gallon pot um, where these look really really big odorata just like imperialis and some of the other alcantarias can get even bigger than this So I would call this a uh, large bromeliad group shot. So yeah, bromeliads can get really, really big. Now, they have to have the genetics that say that they are going to do that. Not all genera are going to get to be huge sizes. But boy, if their genetics say that they can get big and you give them room to grow and supply them with enough water and sunlight, and if you provide them with everything that they need to grow, I'll tell you, you can get sizes just like this. So, okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at these huge bromeliads. Now, imagine those in your collection. They can make quite a statement just by themselves. So, no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing. Have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.